Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Art for you. So today I'm going to take you along while I make my pins for my Pinterest marketing post and show you how quickly you can do this once you have some systems in place. So first off, the very first thing I want to do is I want to come to Pinterest and see what kinds of images people are using in their pins. So people typing on computers, like a text overlay, Oh, that's clever. A pin, a plant, desktop, computer, computer, money, computer, phone, uh, plant. Okay, so with my 30 seconds of research, I can find out that we need computers and we need plants. So the very first thing I want to do is come over to Canva where I have my templates. So I have my templates and folders and I have made templates specifically um, that, that match my, I have two different um, accounts that I make I think this should actually say artsy fartsy because I accidentally used my templates. Marketing art fully. Okay. Um, and you'll mess up, right? You'll use your templates and then you'll be sad. And then you'll have to redo them again. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my tall page marketing artfully template. Now this isn't the size that Pinterest recommends, but I found that it makes the best for me. And I'm going to say, make a copy and I'm going to show you what this looks like. First off, I'm going to move it out of this folder. And then I'm going to go to my home. Okay. Because I want to make sure that I don't mess up my template again, right? And then I'm going to refresh so that my my new, uh, there we go. It's sitting right there ready for me. And then I'm going to name this Pinterest Fresh Pins Post, right? So I know which one it is. Now with Canva, I have never um, deleted any of them. So what I do is I have, let me go show you those. I have almost every pin I have ever made in its own little container, right? Now the beauty of this is say I do, um, you know, I do this best real estate articles one. I just posted this one today and say it does really well. What I can do is I can say, copy this. I can say, copy this paste this. What if this does really, really well? I can change this to a different color, right? So maybe make that blue, see if that helps. Um, I could take my little exclamation points out and I could, oops, sorry. It's going to be down here in all my little doodads. I could put in a star instead. That would maybe do something really good. That could be fun. I could say, change this to articles, right? And then I could flip this picture. And that would be all I would have to do to make this significantly different than this one, right? There are some things, maybe I move this down over here. But this is a significantly different pin than this one, although it's similar. And then I would go ahead and try this pin and see if it does well. Okay, but let's go back to the ones we're making. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. So I delete, I name my first page. I'm making hand motions as if you can see me. Um, I name my first page so I make it easy. And then we know we want to have some, oh, the other thing we want to check is our short pins or tall pins doing good. Tall pin, tall pin, uh, tallish pin, tallish pin, tall pin. So for me, tall pins are working for this genre. There are some shorter pins, but I think I'm going to be okay to use my big pins on this, right? And then Canva opens up a bajillion uh, 
tabs. So I just periodically go through and do that. Now, what we found when we did this was that uh, they really want me to use pictures of computers, right? And I happen to have a lot of pictures of computers already uploaded into my Canva. And you can upload as many pictures as you want. But we're going to come in here and see I have all these desktop ones. So we're going to do this. That's going to be one that we use there. And then we have, we, we needed a plant, right? Because they really liked plants. God bless them. I don't know why they like plants. But there we got a plant. Let's get that plant in here some more because that was we seen one that had plants at the bottom every once in a while my uh oh there's another plant is that the same plant no that's our same plant there's another plant yay with some different stuff let's see what happens and if you want it to go in you can kind of wiggle it around until it finds i eh, mean it's sad Let's do this, and it should go right in there. And then we got our plant here, but I don't really want it to be at the top there. That wasn't where the plants were. They were at the bottom. So we're going to say flip vertical, and, and then, oh, God bless us. We can get our plant in there. So that was a good one. Um, what else we got? Let's see if we got any more plants. Oh, here's one with a ton of kind of flowers but that computer keyboard we needed the computer keyboard so let's keep our that's good okay and then we have i actually probably will use that again because i really thought that was a good one where's our computer keyboard and where's our thing okay so this one i'm gonna flip vertically because my computer keyboard wouldn't show up very well because my words are at the bottom, but this way I can have it show up really well. And I don't really think I want the, uh, the, the T in there. Oh, that's good. Now we have that in there. Got that, got that. So I have one, two, three, four. Oh, here we've got this. So we can do maybe a couple of these. Let's do, let's put this on the bottom, actually. And I love these, like, kind of compilation pins where I get a whole bunch of different stuff. So there is that. That kind of looks like it's just a tissue on the computer keyboard. Can we pull a different part of it? Oh, that's better. Okay, so that's there. And let's see what we can do with this. How about if we, I don't know, people on Pinterest seem to really like donuts. So we're going to get us some donuts up there. Okay, so we got our keyboard, which is functionally what we need. We got some plants. We got a keyboard. Let's see if I got any more keyboards. There's one. That's really dark, though. My pins tend to not do well if I have it really dark. I have it really light. Oh, there's a lady typing on it. Oh, I got more keyboards. Bless the little sweet baby Jesus. There we go. We can just use that one. Oh, and I, you know what? That one has a plant, a fake plant, but a plant at the top. Let's get our plant in there. And then we'll do one. Oh, how about the lady typing? And I know I have used this for something else somewhat recently. So I want to kind of have her hands in there. And then I want to adjust this. I need that to be a little bit brighter because that's not very bright. And I want it to be a little bit brighter. And then I want to do adjust again and make this a little bit brighter. Okay, we got those. Do, do, do. I tend to just put a little bump of bright on everything. Because my pins that are bright tend to do better than my pins that are dark. Now, you may find that your dark pins do better. Oh, that one really needs to be brightened up. Oh, that one's nice and bright already. Somebody already blew that one out. 
That's what that's called. And then, uh, boop, boop, boop. Uh, there we go. Okay. So now what I like to do is I like to keep them all together. So this is not one I'm using this time, and that one's not one I'm using. So I'm going to move this one up so I know which ones I'm working on. And I'll keep those other ones down there in case I need to make more pins. And then so then I already have some templates hanging out in the bottom that I can just pop in and make more pins, right? Do, do, do. Okay, so now I think we got them all at the top. Nice, and those guys are just hanging out at the bottom. Excellent. So now this is what my post is about. It is, it is everything you need to know about how to make fresh pins on Pinterest. So this very first one, I'm just going to say how to make... And then I always, oops, I always make those, oops, so I want to copy this box, copy, paste, okay. And this one's going to say pins, and that one's going to say fresh. Oh, there's caps. Fresh pins. All right, now this doesn't matter as much, right? This is just a picture of stuff. So I'm even going to make this, and it looks like there's something weird right there. So let's get that weirdness out. But I'm going to make this even longer. I'm going to I'm gonna move all this crap down here to give me some more room for my fresh pins. Okay, now I can move my fresh pins there and then we can put this here and say on pinterest and that's just a little bit too big so let's make it let's try 80. that's going to be 804 but let's try 80. see on pinterest works now we're going to scooch that down just a tiny bit so you can read it so this looks great now, I could maybe make it a little bit more understandable, but fresh pins isn't a keyword, right? Like, there's no keyword. I already looked this up. If you look up fresh pins on Pinterest, it doesn't, like, it, it, it's not a thing. <laughs> so I don't really care that Pinterest can't read it. I just care that human beings can see it. And then whatever I do to promote this with the keywords and things like that is going to be what will really set it apart um, when I do it. And I, of course, have keyworded my blog post. When I put this in, I have my title and I have all that so that Pinterest can figure it out. And I'm going to put it on a Pinterest marketing board. So right there, they're going to know that this is about Pinterest marketing. Now, I do have a little call out here from a past pin. And a call out means that it was um, like I'm saying, hey, there's something extra. And a lot of times these little something extras will be the reason that people click. So I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, put a little circly to circly over here and I'm going to make that white or maybe pink. Oh, what if we did that big pink? Okay. Okay. Up, uh, boop, boop, boop. And then, there we go. That looks pretty. That Oh, what if we did this too, right? Because it's kind of skinny. Oh, brilliant. Okay. And then uh, we want to, so I have two different ways to make um, an arrow. They have an arrow in here, and I also uploaded some of my own arrows, but let's see what happens. We want to flip that. And let's see what happens if we make that our pink. Let's move this down, maybe tip it a little bit. So there's one pin. Okay, how to make. Now this time I'm going to have, make isn't going to be a big word, right? So we're going to do this. Let's make this one 100, see if it pulls it up. 
perfect. So now we're going to say how to make um, let's say great pins. I love that. Okay. For Pinterest. Right? Little different. Little tiny bit different than the last one. I don't want this to be on a second line. So I'm going to have to make it smaller. Let's say 120. Will that get it small enough for us? Okay, perfect. And then we have this space over here, right? So the very first thing I'm going to do is I noticed that it's really kind of distracting all that other stuff. I just really needed the plant. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of block out everything, make this white, send the back. And then I got to send my picture. Oh, see, that's a weird picture. Nope. Let's see. Is this our picture? What if we just did this? Oh, look, I just learned something. Okay, perfect. So now I have this how to make great pins for Pinterest. And I think I have a box, right? Let's go get another box. So I could do a couple things, right? I could make this red to tell everybody it's about Pinterest. See, that's our white box, right? So I could make this red and tell everybody it's about Pinterest. And let's see what happens if we make all these words a different, lighter color. Yeah. Green and red are complementary colors on the color wheel, so that would be good. Maybe it would go with it. But I think, I think, remember when we were looking at Pinterest marketing? I think these people like pink better. Right? I would think red. But this is kind of gray. This is kind of salmon. This is kind of salmony orange. That's pink. Purple. All right, let's try a purple. Purple, purple, purple. What do we think about purple? So we can start with purple, but it's a little bit more of a, okay, now we need to make this centered. There we go. We got our purple. Is that the right color purple? Uh, we need it to be more of a lavender. And we know because those are the pins that are coming up first in that search that, you know, Pinterest thinks that, that they're good. And we don't want to copy that lady's exact design because that may not work. But I'm going to say, let's make this a, I don't want to cover up my plant because I had to get it in there. But let's say we need to call out with some words. Let's say all about fresh pins. Okay. We're going to make this a little bit bigger. And they had two lines, so I'm assuming I can fit. Well, that did not work. Okay, so I need my spacing to be skinnier. You're going to find you do all these things, all about fresh pins. All right, perfect. It's almost going to fit perfect. And then we'll just make our box a little bit bigger. Now, do I think this is a pretty pin? This is so not the pin I would design if I was designing a pin. I personally feel like this is one of the uglier pins I have ever created in my entire life, but I don't really care. Now we're going to go back to purple, but I'm going to get a little bit darker purple for this. Um, but I, 
but I don't really care. I'm just testing a whole bunch of pins to see which ones work. And after I do that, then I'm going to come back around and really um, start to figure out what I think will work. Now, one of the ones that we really saw that worked was an overlay, right? Meaning um, they had like a, a, a box over it or a, um, a muted thing over it or lines over it. So let's do that this time. I already unsaturated, meaning I took color out of, out of my picture because I want to have it be unsaturated. I need my, oh, there's that salmon color. Maybe we could use a salmon color later. Um, okay, so first off, we're going we're gonna to put some boxes over here. So let's do, these words, can we get them all? We didn't. How to make, and then that's tips, so I would have to figure that out, so I don't want to have to figure that out. So we'll do that in a wee minute. Um, okay, so we need our box to be up here. How to make fresh pins. I want my fresh pins up front, because that's kind of cool. Bring to front. Send to back. Okay. Now we need to look at these guys, and do they have fancy stuff? Yeah, they got a little bit of fancy. fancy. Um, so I feel good about that. We're going to go and get our box. Our box is kind of covered up, so it's hard to get. I'm trying to just catch the edge. I may have to move this to get our box. Nope. All right, if you hit Command you can get your box. So we want to make this white and then saturate it and then bring to front. Uh-oh, we desaturated our... Let's find my box. Bring the front. White, white box, good. That's what we're trying to do. Okay. So first off, we need these guys now to be in the front. And I'm glad this is happening because you need to know that this happens all the time to all of us. Okay, so there's that. I lost my how-to. Must be in there somewhere. We're going to make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Uh, okay, so where's my how-to? How-to. And obviously, we can't leave that white because that's not working. So let's see what color they use. Kind of gray, black, black and gray. So uh, black might be super harsh, right? So let's go down here. We're going to get a gray. Where's our make? Now we lost our make. Got to be in here somewhere. There it is. Make him gray. How to make, and I like that the fresh pins pops. And then we're going to take our on Pinterest. We're going to take our on Pinterest. Oh, that's kind of a pain. Let's do something fun. What do we got? And I got all these little arrowy things and stuff. Uh... Oh, I got a pink one. Okay. No, that is not what I wanted to do. Here we go. And if you get it too close to the edge, you um, it'll do that. So we're going to say... on Pinterest, right? But I'm going to use a different font. I'm going to use 
this font, Anton. Where did it go? Where did our on Pinterest go? There's our how-to. We lost it. There's our on Pinterest. I'm going to tip it a little bit, make it a little snazzy, go with my arrow. Then we're going to make it pink. There we go. So now we got three, right? How to make fresh Okay, I'm gonna need another. I want I want this to be big. Pins. I mean, even want it bigger, so I'm gonna go 200. And then we can do this on Pinterest, right? Okay. So now we have a problem, right, though, because the thing that they wanted, the thing that we saw that they wanted was the keyboard. So we have to move all this back down because they don't care about us in our little folder all. That'll actually work out really well, right? Um, and I'm going to put a white box. Nope, elements, just box, just box back here so that we don't have all that stuff competing with my words and then pins we're going to make our pink right we'll make it a little bit different pink we'll make this pink or gray should we make gray that's nice that's okay because we could use gray and we could use pink. And then I'm going to make my pins a little bit bigger. At least we can make it a tiny bit designery, right? You don't always want to use, sometimes you want to cross your lines. Sometimes you want to make stuff a little bit cute, a little designery. And that is like, we're going to call that a day. That, that one took, what, 30 seconds? Yay, us. Okay, so this is going to be how to. How to. Make fresh. So what I'm going to do here. Is we like that Anton, right? And we're going to make this huge. Uh oh. Is it right there? Can we catch it? There it is. How to make fresh pins. Because I, I mean, like, we really need to, oh, that's cute, right? I think that's really cute. But we need this to be more of our colors. Oh, gosh. Guys, I think we got that one. That'll give us something to, that gives us something to try. What we're trying to do is to get something that we can try and see if Pinterest likes it, if they like it. Um, if I was going to make another one of these, right, I could flip the pictures. I could put the pink background behind the how-to and the teal background behind the fresh pins. I could flip them horizontally. I could do all kinds of stuff, right? So I got my how-to already here because I read a lot of how-to posts. Super exciting. So there we go. How to uh, we're gonna say popular. How to create. What's our post about? <laughs> uh, fresh pins how to make fresh pins but I talk about all different stuff in here so how to make new pins for old posts how to make 
new pins for old, and then we're going to make posts really big, right? And we're going to say for bloggers. We got a newer thing now. We got a white box here somewhere. Is that our white box? Nope. Okay, so we got our white box. No, Pete. Where's my white box? Well, if we don't got a white, if we can't find a white box, we're going to make a white box. Then we want to send this backwards. Send the back. What happens there? What happens? Send the back. Okay, perfect. That's what we want to do. We're going to make this white. We got our four old. We got a word there. This word. We got something going on. Nope. Copy, paste. And we could say blog post. We got enough room. Blog. Nope. Ooh, that just fits. We may have to. Oh, now we'll nudge it up. We'll nudge it a smidge. We're not going crazy. We like the big words. Okay, so we can make this pink, right? Oh, oh, oh this is actually really good. Do we want to make this pink? Let's see what happens then. Pink. Nope, we just made the words pink. What happens if we make this pink? Pink. These people like pink, right? The, the, we know the Pinterest people like pink. Now, since we want our words to be the thing, oh, you can't do multiples at a time. We're going to take this down to 50. And we're going to take this down to 50. And is this in the front? This doesn't seem to be... What happened with this? What what what's going on? That's a hundred. That is not a hundred. That word is a hundred. This banner is not a hundred. You can't lie to me. There we go. Now for bloggers is popping. Now I want to make this gray so it kind of goes with my color scheme. How to make new pins for old posts, old blog posts. All right. It's a pin. I like this one the best, I think. That one's not bad. And it's fine. It has the big, um, the big colorful one. We could, so if I was going to do a different one of these, I would do this at 50%, right? And then that makes the words pop off more than the uh, keyboard. So, and if I was going to do that, I would probably flip everything, all the all the stuff. So I would make this pink. I would make this box dark pink. I would make this box a little bit lighter pink. I would make this gray, dark gray, and then I would have an entirely new pen already done that I could also try. And see, that is significantly different. It's all different. Um, it's a significantly different pen, but it's got the same kind of vibe to it, right? I don't think we can flip this. I think it's going to um, mess up that line. Yeah, see, now that that necklace is the main thing where I need the computer keyboard to be the main thing because they like the computer keyboard. So, hope. Oh, and then if you want to download them, this is what you're going to do. I always do JPEG because I can't save that many big files on my computer. And then I download these. Doo, 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 doo. So we have seven of them, because we have that one. Remember the one that's the same? 
And then you also want to, one last thing, these are all my, and then I have folders, pin to, pins to post to my artsy fartsy account, and then I have pins to post to Marketing Art Boy. There we go. I have all my pins scheduled, maybe not pinned. And so I want to move these. Everything I everything I download goes into my delete file. Don't delete me. So I want to I want to open this up. It comes in as a as a zip file. I want to move them over here, and then I want to name them what they are. Like I don't want to have them just be five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to name this. Make. Make fresh pins hyphen one. And then the nice thing is then you can just do this, copy. Make fresh pins two. That one got stuck. There we go. And that is it. Then you would upload them and schedule them and do everything that you're gonna do for them. But that is how you can make a ton of pins in a very short time using a template. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.